There's something about jam on toast which is just, it's historic, it's very, very good. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So, today, I'm going to be doing a full day of eating. I know you guys really love watching them, so not made one, a proper, proper good one for a while. So I thought, why not take you through one? I'm not actively tracking macros as such. I'm just trying to intuitively eat. So I'm probably hitting around 250 carb to 275, 70 to 80 fat, just depending on the day. And about, or I always try and hit 200 grams of protein. So it's roughly them ballpark figures, but I'm just seeing how good I am without having to track. So it's always good when you track for a certain period to have time off as well, because it's mentally draining. And when you're going off numbers all the time and checking your weight, you do get like, you get so caught up in this thing and and it, it's kind of, it makes you so self-conscious and it's it's not good. Just judge it by what you look off in the mirror in off season or while you're lean bulking or whatever. So what we've got here for breakfast is, we've got some veggies, mushrooms, tomato, pepper, onion. Gonna make some eggs. Fry these up first, put some eggs and egg whites in, just a mix. A little bit of cheese, so it's going to be like a massive omelette. And then I'm actually going to make a protein shake as well, just because I really want to try and get the protein up. One thing I found in the morning, when I was having them ham and cheese toasties last week, like, after it I felt a little bit, like, sluggish. And that's just because there's carbs in it. So carbs in the morning sometimes aren't your best friend. Just because your blood sugar spikes and drops and all that kind of thing. So I'm just going to see how what it's like not having any carbs or low carbs anyway. My, my only carb source is probably going to be a banana. So I'll see how that goes. Make this up. Show you when it's all done. We've got in the shake, cocoa cereal flavour whey today. One and a half scoops, bit of almond milk, full banana, some ice, vanilla flavouring, creatine and a bit of cocoa powder. Mix all this up and then get the omelette on the go as well. The milkshake or whatever protein shake is absolutely banging. So nice. It's like, it's pretty thick, but it's like not on the verge of McDonald's milkshake thick. Where you can't, you know, you're struggling to suck it through the straw and you're getting like a brain freeze at the same time. But yeah, definitely recommend trying this. Omelette's nearly done. Omelette has turned out more or less perfect. Look at the size of it. So beast is what you call an omelette. Three whole eggs, three egg whites. Put a little bit of this on the side as well. Tuck into this. Looks very delightful. So just finished at the gym, as you can probably tell. Finished off with boxing. I'm absolutely loving it at the minute. Went full ham as well. But gonna have a post-workout protein bar. My protein Pro Bar Elite caramel hazelnut flavour. Pretty nice. I'll tell you what the macros are as well, just quickly. I can find it. 7.3 fat, 22 carbs, and 26 protein. So sick macros. And then I'll make some dinner in a bit. Right, Full day of eating. Chippy eating. chips. <laughs> Look at my clothing attire. Dead braggy. But this full day of eating's not gone to plan. It's how I usually eat. So I'll save a lot of calories for later at night. Um, just because it's when I get hungry usually. And that's why I do it. Because I don't want to be binging throughout the day. So that thing I did this morning where I didn't have any carbs. It worked wonders, you know. It's the first time I've done it. And I didn't feel sluggish at all. Usually when I have like bread or wraps or something, I feel like pretty sluggish when I'm in work. So I think I'm going to be doing that more often. So definitely try it out if you feel sluggish after carbs. Um, add a protein bar. I'm going to go and get some more food now. But I don't, I'm going to struggle to get the calories in. I'm going to get some a nice meal, get some cereal. And yeah, I'll, I'll finish it off. Just been busy doing work because obviously the, the sulfate launch coming up so... I'm chatting too much. Let's go and get some food. It's supposed to be a full day of eating. Ridiculously behind on calories. So my protein's high because of that breakfast and I had a protein bar. My carbs and fats, non-existent. So 
gonna grip a, I'm gonna have a banana. I'm gonna have a banana just while I'm cooking some food. And then, yeah, I need to just sort it out, don't I? This is probably the weirdest combination of food you've ever seen, but we've got the veggies, carrots, cucumber, some hummus. We've got spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese, we've got the bolognese without the spaghetti. We've got bolognese and rice, which I've never had, but can't be asked cooking spaghetti, so I just thought I'd have it with rice. And we've got some cheese on top. And we've got one sea of batter and two pieces of brown toast. So yeah, it's a weird combination, but I need to make sure I'm getting them cows in for this lean bulk. Tuck into this, and then I might end the night with some cereal, so. I reckon it's gonna be good. I ate all of that, apart from this piece of toast. It's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna put a bit of jam on. Why not? Whack a bit of jam on. Then I'll have some cereal. Pretty full, to be honest. I'm surprised I ate all that at one sitting. A beast. May have added a few Snickers bites and a curly whirly. Worth it though. There's something about jam on toast which is just. It's historic. It's very, very good. It just reminds me of being a kid. For all you hard gainers out there, toast with all the toppings is an amazing like snack or food to have to boost up your calories. Three pieces of toast, put Nutella, like jam, peanut butter, all that stuff and butter, your calories are just gonna increase, increase, and it's not exactly like you're having McDonald's, is it? So it's not like dead bad. If you're really struggling to put on weight, just consider 70 to 80 percent whole good healthy foods but to get that big to get them calories up you're gonna you're gonna struggle from eating like veg so just eat toast have cereal if you want to sacrifice and put on muscle you have to be willing to eat it's such a big factor in it and people don't understand good enough the night cookie crisp and crave it's going to conclude all my food, I think. It's quite a big bowl. Mm -hmm.